What's up YouTube, it's Michael, and today the, we got a very special jacket from Filson that is tough to get, but the second it came online, I grabbed it. It is the Filson Denim Cruiser lined with wool, and it's very, very the nice. The wool lining is actually so insane. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Hello everyone, this is Editing Michael, and uh, this video didn't come out that uh, w uh, good, so definitely bear with me, and I'll check in with you at the end to see what you thought. Five star review, not for softies. Great jacket, picked it up yesterday, found the right size that fits perfect for me. I've read reviews of the sleeves and wool as the liner. This jacket is made for men. You must wear Victoria's Secret panties but want a man's jacket. This jacket is not for softies. Oscar F, December 6, 2021. This is Taylor, Hello. rocking a Filson denim short coat. There's a lot of drama going on with this jacket. Also, please don't worry, that tremendously beautiful girl will not be in this video. Taylor is visiting from Denmark. She says hi. This is the Filson denim cruiser jacket, and there is a lot of controversy because, not a lot of controversy, but Filson messed up, essentially, and some things happen. So I'll review this jacket as it is, and then I'll let you know about the drama and we'll go from there. Today's New Year's Eve, so I am running errands and picking up things for a very COVID-friendly, tiny home test kit party. By COVID-friendly, I obviously mean anti-COVID-friendly. COVID is not invited and everybody's getting tested and stuff like that, but the first note is sizing. This jacket fits massively. This is a size extra small, and when I went to Filson, there was a guy that was a pretty good amount bigger than me and he said he usually wears a small or medium in Filson and when he got this jacket he had to get an extra small. So I am 5'9", 140 something pounds and a small literally engulfed me. The sleeves were down to my hands, way, way oversized and I even know that oversized is trendy. Everybody that I showed the jacket to was like that is, that jacket's too big. It's not oversized, it is too big. So. This is an extra small. I really don't know why that last shot, the way I was walking towards the camera, just felt really impersonal. So I think I'm gonna make this shot a lot more, or this video a lot more handheld, just because I really think taking you along with me and not leaving you behind would just make the channel feel a lot more personal. Do you know what I mean? It just gets to a point where I don't want you to feel like just someone watching a review, obviously. I want you to think, we're in this journey together. So there is, I think at least, one thing that you have to ignore when you were talking about the denim cruiser jacket, and that is it is not a real workwear piece in its original intention. It, it is a workwear piece, but Timber Cruiser was, you know, the epitome of the tough guy that goes through the woods and is chopping down trees, and he's a, he's a timber guy. So the Timber Cruiser originally or the cruiser originally there's the wool mackinaw of course that makes sense in a cruiser and there is the tin cloth which is wax canvas both of those and the material that's used is very important both wool and tin cloth obviously wax cotton are really good at repelling water denim doesn't do that denim takes in water and gets heavy and uncomfortable and it's not the best there is a wool liner but then at the same time it's not mackinaw 26 ounce wool which is incredibly heavy and warm so there isn't really a built-in, this is what this was used for, or this is what this can be used for. Obviously denim is very important, but the history of the Cruiser mixed in with the denim collaboration, I don't think has any roots in history. I think a guy looking through the Filson catalog, back when Filson was also a workwear priced company, would either get the tin cloth Cruiser or the Mackinac. He would not get this. I need to review this jacket as it is, and then I will get into the drama of what this jacket was supposed to be. But funny enough, we actually have to go over all the pockets because this jacket has a lot of pockets. And this is a, like a half cape coat. So I'll explain that. Please do me a favor, and for this video, envision a very strong scent of pine and just like wet, cold outdoors to really get in the mood. And picture me doing these sick tricks over this log. Most jackets, I feel like we don't have to go over the anatomy of, but this is actually a very complex jacket with a lot of layers to it. Looking at this jacket, just going through all the pockets. On the bottom, you have these two 
dumpy pockets. Actually, I'll get to those pockets last because there's one thing that I would change. In front of those pockets, there on the left side, there is a little pocket that typically was used for your pocket watch, but now actually the guys at Filson that I talked to, the employees that work there said, you could just toss your AirPods in there. How convenient. So then we have the outside pockets that I'll skip. We have the inside pockets, which are lined in the same wool blend. Then we go up and this is where the construction of the jacket gets a little bit more complex. Cause like I was saying, this is a half cape coat kind of, I think, I could be using the wrong term, but I would call this a half cape coat. So you have these two purely booby pockets. They actually line up scarily well with my boob. You have these two pockets, which is interesting because you can open them and you can see that there is a big pocket that you can shove your hand into on the left side. And then there is a slotted front pocket, which on the original review I did of the Filson Mackinac Cruiser, I said was for bullets. I think that's wrong. I think that was, I think it's for pens and stuff like that because they were for cruisers. And then on the other side, it's just the plain old pocket that is connected to the half cape. The interesting part about this jacket is that half cape, the upper shoulder area where you see these pockets are, that is, there's two layers of denim. So so there is the outside layer that you can pull back to use as a pocket and then there is a layer behind that so essentially the front part of this jacket with all the pockets too means you have two or three layers of 14 and a half ounce raw denim now this is not selvage denim so there's no selvage line but it's still really nice denim 14 and a half ounce is a little heavier than medium but on the front when it's two or three layers thick it gives this jacket a lot of heft anyways the jacket obviously is mostly 100 percent cotton including the collar but the lining is 54 percent wool 20 9% polyester, 9% rayon, 5% nylon, 3% acrylic. That is a lot of blend. Some of that blend is so Filson can save on price because blends are generally cheaper than 100% wool, but also that blend is a wool rich blend, which means over 50% of the lining is wool. So you still get all the same properties of wool, but what they added, the polyester and the nylon, although there's not a lot of nylon, does add a lot of strength to the liner so it won't break down as easily. And then acrylic, I feel like is the closest synthetic comparison you have to wool. So it probably just adds a little bit more of typical insulation. Acrylic, I, I feel like we can do without, but the nylon and the polyester, I actually kind of like that. If it's gonna add strength and help the liner stay there longer and pill less, definitely good with me. The most important pockets on jackets like this, usually that are lined, that means it's gonna be kind of cold outside, are the hand warmer pockets. This is, it's not a complaint because I don't really see it on any jackets, but something that I think would have brought this jacket to the next level is when you look at these pockets that are used as hand warmer pockets, they are twofold because you can also access them from the top. And then when you put your hands in, you could access them again. But the interesting part is the inside is lined with that same wool liner. And when you use the slot for your hands, which is the side one, you get one side of the wool. And when you use the slot and you come in from the top, you get the other side of the wool. But what I really would have liked is if this is the inside of the pocket, this is the wool lining and you can enter it from the top like this, I would have loved another layer of denim from the top pocket because the top pocket is where I want to drop in my keys or sharp things that could pierce the wool lining and would pierce it way, 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 way faster than any denim. Without further ado, let's get into the drama of this jacket because there is some and I'm going to keep this jacket and I like it a lot, but what I originally expected to get in the mail and what everybody else expected to get in the mail was not what we got in the mail. So the sentiment of most people that got this jacket and reviewed it is, sorry, the camera died right as I was going to say the most important part of that sentence and now we have to go get a cake for New Year's Eve. The sentiment that I have and it looked like most reviewers have is, Filson, you know you sent the wrong jackets out or you made a mistake on your website and you didn't do anything to correct it and the jacket's still really good and it's close enough so I'm going to keep it but that wasn't cool of you to do. Bad news, I walked into the bakery and they said, we're closed, which they clearly weren't. What they originally promised was very similar to this coat and what they delivered was very similar to this coat. But when I opened it up in the box, I was like, nah, this isn't it. If you look at the reviews on Filson, everybody's saying, like I said, this is a great jacket, but it's not what was described. So what was supposed to come in the mail and what I was supposed to be reviewing was a full cape coat jacket with a matte pocket in the back and polyester lined sleeves. That cape in the front where I said it's a double layer of denim, that is supposed to extend to the back like this wool jacket where there's an extra layer to help shield from rain and also it's with wool it adds a lot of extra warmth. With denim it's just kind of a cool feature and could hopefully keep you a little bit more dry. And then on the back there were tin cruisers used to have maps when they were looking for their logs so 
there was a map pocket in the back which would add a double layer of denim to the back of the jacket as well and then finally wool sleeves are just typically not seen of as like a plus usually you can do a insulated polyester so that way your sleeves slip on and if you just want to toss this jacket over a shirt you can do that too without having itchy wool none of that was delivered and said i got this which again i would have loved an email from Filson saying, hey, we messed this up. Do you still want this jacket? I just think it would have been better. A little disappointed by that. But all in all, a lovely jacket. And next video, we are talking about Carhartt. So I can't wait to give you the tea on that. What did we think? I woke up this morning and I re-edited some of it. I think it got a little better, but I don't know. Either way, I'll see you next week shortly, which is soon. And subscribe if you like this video. And if you didn't, that'd be still nice.